absolutely. This is called the occult sciences, in fact, and was highly respectable. Um, people dabbled in these things. I mean, as soon as you started getting towards the real demon side of things, there was a bit of a problem. But talking to angels through black mirrors and trying to call up spirits and trying to harness, if you like, the great powers of the universe was something that individuals got very involved in. The real Renaissance man who could honestly afford to do it, and let's face it, Rudolf could, um, he was an extraordinary figure, but rejected the Catholic Church at the end. And brilliantly for us, this is your absolute period of expertise. I'm just you a touch excited, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I love it because it's so full of colour and verve. And this man, Rudolf, would have known here. I mean, he made Prague his sort of head office, as it were. Um, and consequently, he would have come here, would have come to look at this extraordinary clock. Um, and that would have been quite an old clock when he arrived here in 1580s. So, yes, it is a very odd place. Now, if he did come here, some girls I'd like to point out. He suffered with depression. He was a man, despite this great search for power, he also had a terribly dark side to him as well. And I just wondered if maybe some of the crew are picking him up too. OK, more from Leslie in just a moment. We also want to hear from you at home. And Julian Clegg, our Master of All Things Interactive, has the details. Julian, over to you. Thanks very much indeed, Paul. And, of course, you're keeping us very busy with your messages about the webcams. Thank you very much indeed uh, for those. Like webcam one, very busy tonight, the statue room. Uh, Tom from Stockport says we could hear strange scratching noises. We've had a theme with that tonight. Uh, and also, Stuart, uh, we sense a black dog is going to be following you over the next hour. Tom, thank you very much for that. And uh, Callum in Dublin, uh, I heard a female voice screaming on webcam one as well. Webcam two, also busy tonight. Uh, Sarah in Manchester seeing a figure pacing up and down by the rail on webcam two, be safe. And uh, also a black mist on the ladder, say so Josh, Don, Emma, in Tainmouth. Thank you very much uh, for that message. Webcam 3, the underground room, uh, we had a really loud growling noise. Again, that's another theme tonight, growling. Uh, the team heard that too earlier. Good luck. Uh, also, Sue from Folkestone seeing a shadow with a large orb and it looked like it was uh, coming from the ladder. Good, good message that. And uh, webcam 4, the old storeroom, there was a face on webcam 4 that came out of the ground. Watch out team, says Paul in Scotland. And uh, Lisa in Castleford, a uh, figure of a woman standing at the bottom of the stairs on that one, webcam 4. Now, lots of general messages as well. We love those. And if you've been to Prague and you've got stories about the old town hall or just Prague itself, uh, let us know. And indeed, check the uh, Czech Republic in general over the next uh, three nights to come. Francis in York, the name Etta is something I feel will be mentioned on the investigation tonight. And Zachary may be a name mentioned tonight, say Veronica in Beverly. And uh, Angela in Stoke-on-Trent, I see a very dark man walking uh, behind Yvette. Every time Yvette's on camera, she can see that. And I think the name John or Jan, that's another message of Jan, which came up earlier, uh, Angela in Stoke-on-Trent. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, also, uh, Dylan, from uh, our Facebook page, facebook.com slash mosthaunted, uh, I've been to Prague many times and actually been in the same cellar that the team are in. It's a spooky place, even though it was in the middle of the day when I went in, it still gave me the creeps. And that's a general theme from a lot of you who've been here in the old town hall. Uh, you've been here and you think it has things going on, you sense strange things going on as well. Uh, also, don't forget to get in touch uh, via Twitter, twitter.com slash realmosthaunted. The team are tweeting tonight. We want to hear your Twitter messages, so get in touch. And, of course, the website, mosthauntedlive.net, is the place to go. Also, there you can see the webcams, the interactive map, and send your messages. And of course, the competition is running over the next four nights, right the way through to the beginning of April. Your chance to uh, win those great uh, electronic prizes and tickets to the next Most Haunted Live event in the UK as well. So uh, good luck with that. Uh, that's all from Interactive for the moment. Uh, Paul, back to you. Thank you, Julian. Also, lots of you contacting us asking about those bones that the team found earlier on, those bones here in the catacombs, the cellars beneath the old town hall. Now, we've spoken to the people who've organised this trip for us, who've helped us with the research. They had no idea there were bones. They have no idea what they were in this building. A chilling thought that. More on the way. Carl and Stuart are in the underground room. They're alone together. Yvette is about to embark on a Ouija board session, so I want you to stay with us and join us on Most Haunted Live, live from Prague. After this break, keep watching. Welcome back to Most Haunted Live on a very busy night indeed. The first of four nights of paranormal investigations from here in Prague, a beautiful city with a remarkable and blood-drenched history. Now, Yvette Fielding and the team have located themselves for night one here in the old town hall, which dates back 
to the 14th century, the 1300s. They've separated. I think Carl and Stuart are in the underground room and Yvette Fielding and the team are about to embark on a Ouija board sandwich. It goes without saying that if you see or sense anything, either on the webcams or see anything on the screen or hear anything we may have missed, we want you to get in touch with us, please. Don't forget you can be our eyes and ears here. Also, we've got Fred Batt, our demonologist, standing by, Leslie Smith, our historian and academic, and, of course, Julian Clegg, who, with his team, is the conduit for all the information you sense for us. And remarkably for Most Haunted Live, for the next four nights, that team will follow the location's vigil team around. Night one, three more nights to come, four locations in all. It's going to be a fantastic four nights of paranormal investigation. Let's get straight back to the vigil right now. Thank you very much, Paul. Um, Carl and Stuart uh, have gone off, as Paul has already said. Um, joining me, we have um, our lovely um, uh, Slovak, Slovak, mm -hmm. and we have uh, Kvieta uh, and Kath and Matt, Chris Burton on uh, camera, and we um, are about to do our Ouija board session. So, now this is a Ouija board session with a difference. This is a Ouija board that um, is... Um, Check, and we have. I can't even see because I'm a torch. We've got words on here. Thank you, Chris. Um, mm -hmm. So this is hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Welcome. So how would we say this? Vitejte. Vitejte. And this word, uh, nashledanou. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I know yes. Yes. And no. ne, ne, just ne, ne, ne. Oh, no. Ano. Okay. So are you ready, Sylvia? Are you okay? You okay yes, to yes, do yes, this? Yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. right. Matt, I would like you as well to put one hand, but get ready, hopefully, with the boom underneath the table. So if you get yourself positioned, <laughs> it's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach, isn't it? Okay. Uh, one hand on the table. Jednu ruku na stůl. Okay. One hand on the table, Kath. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If there is anybody here, please, can you make the glass move? Can you please make the glass move? Come towards us now. Make the glass move. Perhaps you can tell us your name. Come towards us now, whoever you are. Come towards us and move this glass. Let us know that you are here. Could you call out for me? Oh, oh it's moving. We're off. OK. OK. I've gone to eight or it's come over to this direction. I'm putting it back myself. Okay. Please tell us your name. Please tell us your name. Tell us your name, please. Tell us your name. F or G. Continue. Ah, oh, that's Carl and Stuart. Nothing. F or G and then R, wasn't it? Okay. Tell us your name. Your name. Can you sense anything, Slumber? Take you near top. Yeah, Tati. She is here. She is here. Ona. Mm. She. She. Okay. What is your name, please? Tell us who you are. If there's a lady here, a woman, tell us who you are. Your name. H. What's that? N. N. H N. H N. Doesn't mean anything. No. Mm -hmm. Initials. Maybe they're the initials, yeah, Kath. S. It's going to. Oh, it's going to you. Why does it say that? Oh, you have. I see. Okay. Slovak. 
Can you ask a question? Můžete se zeptat o nějakou otázku? Yes. Mm. Otázku. Mm. 